What's going on guys? This is Empty Box, and yeah, new session. Today is January something, 2014, January, t January 2nd, yeah. But we're gonna hop in the Skyline, the R30, the noob cannon, and we're gonna make some hay today. No, that was not an intentional rhyme, but uh, I just altered my volume there. We are going big. We are going to make bank today. And then we will buy a car that we will probably use for a very long while. Hopefully. A car that hopefully will uh, be able to win the Gran Turismo World Championship. In style. A car that I, I want to uh, race. And I'll give you a hint. It's in, this, it's in this race right here. Pretty sure this car is stock, the uh, R30 that I'm driving here. I don't think I did anything to it, if I remember correctly. So we got five laps at Red Rock Raceway, which is <laughs> another Gran Turismo 2 only track. And yes, LOL, Blister Storm. Oh! If I'm not mistaken, I think they actually got the stats wrong on the Lister Storm yet again. That car remains as like the world's largest pile of poo in Gran Turismo. Come on, turn! Probably should have put the super softs on. Just don't have the turning ability or the talent. One or the other. Probably by both. It's okay. We can we can do this. Cause we know how to do wall riding. And you're lying if you say that you don't do this, because you know you did. So save me your guilt trip. And yes, that was a terrible line! Some Gran Turismo style snap oversteer there coming out of the corner. Can't put the power down. And yes, that is a vector that I just smashed into. A vector for crying out loud. Holy bejeebus. Such a cool car. I mean, it's called the Vector. I wonder if they designed it in Adobe Illustrator. <laughs> yes, that's a terrible joke. And I'm sure like half of you guys don't even understand it, which makes it even more funny if you ask me. Venturi on the left of me, a GT40 on the right of me. These things is not like the other one. One of these things just doesn't belong. I watch out for that GT40 though, because for some reason the GT40 in Gran Turismo games is like this mythical beast that apparently is a rocket ship. Especially in this game. Like, if you get in a race with a GT40, you know it's going to win. Or it's going to be the fastest AI. I don't know why, it just is. That's what I get for actually trying to take the corner properly. Smacked upside the head. Pretty much. I 
I gotta say though, of all the tracks that they haven't brought back from the from the dead in Gran Turismo, Red Rock here. Yeah, don't miss it. <laughs> Do not like this track at all. Just so boring. Although I remember back in the day, like, seeing the graphics here and the, the evening sky. It's like, whoa. My mind has been blown. Final lap. Got a good lead. I think we got this as long as we don't do anything stupid. Which normally would be tossing it into a wall. But, hey, Grand Turismo Logic. But going back to the Lister Storm, for some reason, <laughs> in every Grand Turismo game that I've played, which, like I mentioned earlier, Grand Turismo 6 is the only one I haven't played, I don't even know if the Lister Storm is in Grand Turismo 6, they've made that car have ridiculous weight. <laughs> like, the race car should weigh the same as the Viper. I mean, they race at the same time, they the same class. But yeah, for some reason the Lister is like 350 kilos heavier. Like, uh, goodbye, Logic. Yeah. Which honestly makes the Lister probably the worst car in the history of Gran Turismo because it still costs like a bajillion dollars. So maybe we'll have to buy a Lister Storm. Look at it, it's so slow. It's a full straightaway behind. <laughs> and oh my god, the GT40 didn't win. Meanwhile, still... There we go. 15 seconds off the field. 3 seconds a lap. If you bought that car, ever, in the history of Gran Turismo for anything other than I have too much money, you are a Lister fanboy. In which case, you're very weird. Very, very weird. But let's go ahead and take that bank and let's go see what the prize car is. So if I remember right, it's going to be a Speed 12. That is if I remember right, but I'm pretty sure I remember right. Because I think someone actually mentioned this in one of the comments the earlier once. Yeah, grind this race. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that race, but... Uh, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Most ridiculous car in the history of ridiculousness. 807 horsepower? 2,000 pounds? Why not? Seems legit. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, really. Speed 12, just an awesome, awesome beast. Just like mind blown entirely. Nope. I didn't mean to actually do that. I didn't mean to do that, but hey, guess that means we'll have to grind a little bit, aka do the same race twice, <laughs> getting our speed 12. Oh yeah, it revs to 11, even though it goes to 8. I just remember this car being like next to impossible for me to ever drive, so we'll see how this works out. I was going to make a power comment, but then I remember that, uh, yeah, apparently they did let Jeremy Clarkson drive this thing way back in the day. And, woo! Disco! <laughs> oh, God. Fourth gear wheel spin in Gran Turismo. That's saying something. That's saying your car is just too dang fast. I still can't drive the Speed 12. I still cannot drive the Speed 12. 
I'm gonna see if you can put some tires on it. Maybe that'll help the situation. <laughs> I don't particularly like want to drive the Speed 12, but I, I want to just be able to say I actually got it around the track. Oh, those were the hard tires, huh? <laughs> hey, you want to laugh? Go ahead and put simulation tires on your Speed 12. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Oh wait, my car's naturally aspirated. We'll go over here. You know what? Let's knock these these events out the way. Car's naturally aspirated, right? Let's go ahead and uh, that that could be why. We will go with sports tires. That seems to be a bit more of a fair compromise. Because with this thing, if I put slicks on it, I'll just destroy the field. Which isn't really in my... <laughs> oh, little Miata. Civics. Oh boy, yeah. I'm serious, this, this might just be the most difficult car to drive in the history of Grand Turismo. Like, it's the only car that actually kind of feels like it's somewhat realistic because of the fact that, like, it has so much horsepower. Like, you have to be very, 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 very careful brake really early. God, this car's so ridiculous. It's the Bugatti Veyron before the Bugatti Veyron was the Bugatti Veyron. So for you youngsters out there, this was considered a hypercar. <laughs> and by that, it's basically a race car. <laughs> that they could never build because it was, I believe, it was more or less considered way too fast, actually. <laughs> it's definitely one of the cooler looking cars, though. It just looks so... So radically awesome. Every game should have the Speed 12. It's one of those cars, man. That is just so ridiculous. That even though TVR is not around anymore, kinda, sorta, I'm not sure what the whole status is with that. I know they closed up shop, but then I think some Russian guy bought them and reopened shop, but they didn't, but they did, or something like that, but... But in a way, a very strong way, remember kids, if you buy a Speed 12, get slicks for it. Oh boy, if I lose to a Civic, this is going to be embarrassing. <laughs> Still replace for, for displacement, yeah, no, there is, they're called tires. And suspension and brakes. But in a way, the Speed 12, really 90s GT racing in a nutshell. How crazy of a car can we make and pass it off as a street car? Which is kind of unfortunate because it started off really good with cars like the McLaren F1. You know, that rash hole, like road cars, and then everybody went nutso and started making race cars that were 
given to executives in the company. That way they could say they built a road car. Looking at you, Toyota. Pretty sure Nissan did the exact same thing. Panos did the exact same thing, as much as I like them. Just, uh... No! Just a silly time, man. <laughs> oh god, we're going way too fast. Good news is, if I can make it to this corner side by side... V12 POWER! <laughs> oh god, that car is ridiculous. <laughs> oh boy. So ridiculous. And that was a Miata? Huh, interesting. Didn't recognize it, honestly. What a car! <laughs> what a car. But I think we're gonna go ahead and do the next race. That actually turned out to be a surprisingly. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Turned out to be a pretty good challenge. This track, Grindelwald, a little bit more twisty. A lot more hills. A Peugeot race car, I guess. I can foresee this not going well. <laughs> Figured we'd try short shifting there, and yeah, it didn't really do anything. I gotta say, this car actually sounds really cool, though. Oh god! We've we've done spun it, but we don't even need to shift because we got so much power, it's ridiculous. Just like showing the wheel spin. <laughs> Really wonder what kind of uh, performance the Speed 12 really had or would have had. God. <laughs> It's so freaking hard. I'm sure someone out there is like, oh yeah, I've mastered the Speed 12. It's really easy. So I'll be like, bullcrap. V12 just kicked in, yo! Screw it. It's so powerful you can't even wall ride. Okay, that's that's enough speed twelving. Is enough speed twelving? At least on sports tires. I'm gonna put slicks on it just for just for giggles and see how fast we can go. Maybe it gets better. I'm sure it gets better. Everything is better with super soft, super slicks. After all, this car does have 800 horsepower and is actually a race car, so seems logical that you'd use race tires. In theory. But then again, I'm not sure why this isn't classified as a race car until you do the racing modification. But, hey.
Hey, we got grip in third gear. Oh my god. We got road holding ability. Oh god. No, no, no. So for anyone who's actually played this game, which one do you rank as more uh, <laughs> ludicrous, the Speed 12 or the Escudo? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the Escudo and the Speed 12 have to be the most, like, holy crap cars in the history of the series. A Red Bull crap doesn't have a thing on these cars because you know what? These things actually exist. <laughs> Smashing into the pit wall there. Our next lap, we are doing 200 miles an hour. We're doing it. Oh god, this car is just insane. Like it goes like like an F1 car, but it, it doesn't do anything else like an F1 car. Let's get a good run here. Let's see if we can hit 200. I'm pretty sure that was that was 200 right there in fifth gear. <laughs> oh god, my driving looks so terrible right now. Definitely will uh, kick the rear end out all day. Stop! Positively ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> oh boy. That car just. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It's <laughs> just ridiculous. There's nothing else you can say at all. Just ridiculous. <laughs>